What's going on guys? It's Munchie here. Let's talk about this massive blog update thing that Call of Duty have just released for Vanguard and Warzone combined. Um, they've released kind of the name of the Warzone map as Caldera. Um, and yeah, there's a lot to kind of digest. There's kind of a roadmap, sort of. Um, obviously you've got the campaign, multiplayer zombies. Shipment will be returning to, to Vanguard. Um, a little bit later, I think it's like the 19th of November, so a couple of weeks after release. And there will be some limited time modes to say goodbye to the dance, which I think is quite nice, you know. It, it had its issues, but it's still quite nice to say goodbye to it. Obviously, you've got all the new content that comes with a, a game release. You know, I don't think any of this is particularly... Interesting is not the right word. Um, unexpected? This is pretty standard stuff we're expecting. You've got the anti-cheat. You've got the Caldera map, there's some new screenshots, Rebirth isn't going anywhere, which is cool to see, um, and some new playlists. Now, the <laughs> Call of Duty has been going a bit wild on their Twitter, and it's kind of hard to keep up with things. So we're going to pick through it. I do have the roadmap kind of blog open as well, um, and we'll have a have a better look at that, although it is quite hefty. Um, so we're going through it all with a fine tooth comb. Of course, if you pre-order it, you get some special rewards. I think most people know that now. So a fairly new screenshot of Caldera, it looks incredibly different um, to Warzone and in fact if I move my face you can see the actual thread. Tropical Island, 200 POIs, fully optimised cross-play, cross-progression and cross-gen, ricochet anti-cheat and then Vanguard integrates into Warzone Season 1. Um, so that's December the 2nd, so roughly a month after release, four weeks just shy of and it's going to feature a dedicated playlist, Vanguard, Vanguard Royale, featuring dogfighting and World War II weapons only, with honoured progression from Cold War Modern Warfare. So the idea between this is, aside from the dogfighting, which is pretty cool, um, is that if you don't have the full game, if you only have Warzone, you can come in, level up Vanguard weapons without facing people with like fully maxed out classes everywhere you go. Um, they expect most people to kind of play on the regular Battle Royale, and by having the dogfight in there, it stops a lot of people from wanting to play it if they want the more traditional kind of thing, they just want to explore the map without planes, whilst also allowing people to level up the weapons, which I don't think is the worst idea in the world. And you get all legacy content, weapons, cameras, operators, etc. Um, in standard Caldera BR, Plunder, In Season and Rebirth Island, so we're going to have three games worth of content on this map, like three loads of weapons, operators, emblems, everything, which is pretty wild. Now there is um, quite a lot to unpick as far as getting to that point. Obviously shipment November 17th, an encore for Vedansk begins on November 18th with Operation Flashback featuring Vedansk's action-packed history and two unique rewards, which will be pretty cool. Um, it'll be a bit nostalgic, I reckon, I think that's probably the way they're going to go for it. And then we get to uncover some intel on Caldera through Secrets of the Pacific limited time event on November 24th, where you can discover information about it. And the destruction begins November 30th with a special event. Details are still classified. So yeah, this next month is going to be horrendously busy within the game. Um, I'm gonna, obviously, I'll cover all these challenges and the best ways to do them, the best ways to get the most out of them. I always do. But yeah, it's going to be a busy old, old month, that is for sure. And then finally, if we actually flick over to here, you can see all the tabs, um, just how many there are. There's an awful lot here you could read through. If you hadn't looked at any Vanguard information before, it might be worth scanning through, or you could wait for the video that I'm going to drop about four hours after this one. Um, that sums up most of it. But I wanted to get kind of a shorter video out just to, just to highlight some of the more interesting parts, but you can see just how much is in here. Um, in terms of information for you to have a read through and look through and yeah there's there's a hell of a lot um, to kind of pick through and we'll get through it all slowly but surely um, there's shipment World War 2 star but there's a lot there's there's an awful lot and the actual name of Warzone will change to Warzone Pacific I don't know if that's particularly interesting for many people but if it does start to appear on your like, consoles as Warzone Pacific you know why there's a hell of a lot to digest. It's exciting times, I hope they pull it off, I really do. But 
with that being said i want to know your thoughts on the wars of integration on on vanguard on the new map on the dog fighting on the weapons take your pick on anything and tell me what you think about it but i'm excited to see where it goes um, i'm hopeful not overly optimistic but hopeful i feel like that's a good state to be in and as always if you did enjoy the video give it a like subscribe if you want to find your way back hope you all have a good day and i'll see you next time bye